Hello everyone, welcome back for another Roblox Studio tutorial. In one of our previous lessons, we have learned about array tables in Roblox. In this lesson, we're going to learn about multi-dimensional arrays in Roblox. To get started, let's go to our server script service and create a script. Put in local a equals to two curly brackets. And that's how you declare a regular array. If you are not familiar with arrays, you should definitely refer back to our previous lessons, pre previous lesson on array tables before continuing with this lesson. Because today we're going to do two dimensional and three dimensional arrays. Let's do a quick review. So to initialize an array, you can do something like this, 0, 0, 0. So now my array has three elements, and each of those elements all have zeros in them. Now to initialize a two-dimensional array, you can change each of these elements into an array itself. So I'm going to copy this array, and instead of an element that has a value of 0, I can put an array in it. So now I have myself a two-dimensional array. And if you want to make it easier to see, you can just put each element on a separate line. So it would be easier to see. So now it looks more like a two-dimensional table, right? Like, for example, this first element here you can refer to it as A11. This one would be A12, A13, and this one would be A21, A22, A23, then A31, A32, A33. All right, and to change an element of a two-dimensional array is very similar to how you do it with a regular array so if I want to change the value of let's say this one right so that would be a21 so I would go down here and I would say a21 with the uh, square brackets a21 equals 2 and let's say 4 now if I print the array A, I would see 4 in it. Let's take a look. So here it is. Let's take a look at the table and let me open up the script. So you can see that my I have a two-dimensional array. So the first element it in itself is another array and it contains all zero because this line here is all zero but the second line here you see there is a 4 in it in the element 2, 1 because we have modified that element to be to have the value of 4. And here we're just printing out the array and that's why it's printing out everything. But if you want to access one single element, you can print out one single element. For example, print the element A2 one and without printing this one I'm gonna remove this one let's take a look and now it's printing only a single element which has the value of 4 in it alright so that's how you initialize the two-dimensional array that's how you change the elements inside the two uh, inside the two-dimensional array and this is how you access the element of the two-dimensional array. Now let's take a look at another way of building our two-dimensional array. So let's start by declaring our array a equals to two curly brackets. And we're going to use a for loop for i equals to 
one going to nine do. Now for each of those, so my array is gonna have nine elements. And for each of those elements, I I'm gonna make it another array. I'm I'm gonna load another array into each of those elements to make a two-dimensional array. So I'm gonna say um my array A with element I is gonna equal to another array. And in here, I'm gonna have a, another for loop. I'm gonna say for j equals to one through nine do. So basically, I'm building a nine by nine uh, two-dimensional array. And in here, I'm gonna say a i j so I'm accessing the elements of my two dimensional array. So for each of the, those elements, I'm gonna load uh, the value of i times j in it. So it's gonna come out to be like a multiplication table, a nine by nine multiplication table. All right, so now let's come down to here and print out a couple of those elements just to, to verify. So I'm gonna say a, let's pick a number, three by two. So the answer there should be six. Uh, let's put a couple more. I'll, I'll copy it, make it faster. Let's do three cases. So now we're gonna do uh, two by eight, let's say and five by nine. I, I think that's enough cases. Let's press play to test. All right, so here it is. The first one we have is six. Three times two is six. Second one is 16. Two times eight is 16. And finally, the last one, five times nine is 45. All right, so that's another way of building your two-dimensional array. Now, if you want to change this to a three-dimensional array, it's very simple. You just need to add another for loop to it. So instead of, um, I'm just going to insert another for loop in here. So 4k equals to one through nine, I'm gonna do. And I'll move this into that for loop. And also remember, we need to build that array element first. So let, let me do this one first, then I'll go up there and I'll fix that. So this is IJK element ijk we got three dimensional array now and it's gonna the value is equal to i times j times k and here we just need to build this um let's see it's gonna be a i j so the element a i j is gonna be another array where that array is going to give us the indices of k, right? All right, um, and we're just going to change our, our print statements down here. So I'm going to add uh, 3 times 2 times 1 to make it simple. 2 times 8 times 3. Whoa, that's going to be tough. I better change the numbers, make them smaller, otherwise I would need a calculator to verify. Uh, let's make this times three. All right, then let's play to test. All right, first answer is six. So three times two is six times one is still six. 48 is the second answer. Let's see, three times eight is 24 times two is 48. That is correct. 
and then 15 3 times 5 is 15 times 1 is still 15 so that's our lesson for today on multi-dimensional arrays in roblox